Now, when it's processing, it's always going to look very, very scary. You can see that, but just wipe it and you can see it's not as dark as it looks. Hello to all the hair besties in the land! Today's a special day. I have a very special guest and a good friend of mine, Gabby Hannah. I'm gonna spin her around! <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> She's back and tell us what's going on today. What do you want? Okay, so I've never been blonder than the blonde that we've done. I really want to go platinum and I've also never gone all the way to the roots. So we're going full platinum, seeing if we can get this green out to behave. And if not, then we'll just see what happens. That's where the paranormal hair activity situation comes in because I don't know if we can get this green out. But basically, it's been over three to four months. The green is still there. She goes swimming. She's in the sun. That's pretty good. So oh considering goodness. the fact, let's analyze her hair. I did not do the highlights. It's beautifully done, but I did not do them. So the situation that is happening here is there's a lot of like parts of brown that are dropping lower in here which caused me to have to overlap because the reality is there's no way for me to like pick out every single thing i'll pick out as much as i can but there is going to be subtle overlapping but the cool thing about gabby's hair is that she is a level six so it's easy to get her from a level six to a level 10 easily very easily so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tackle this area first and you can see how this part is a little bit lighter anyways I'm able to use my finger and kind of drag it through those pieces afterwards. And we're gonna keep off of the routage. So we're gonna use our big nine. And I usually don't use big nine on her. Normally I use magnemate on her because I use foils. And because of this situation, she wants to be as blonde and icy white as possible. So we're just gonna go for the big nine. And big nine is gonna get her there. And it's a cream lightener because it's also great for on scalp lightening because we are gonna put color on her routage. And because we are gonna put on the routage, the cream oil based lightener is gonna be great for that. So I'm gonna squeeze out big nine. I'm gonna do about 100 grams because she does have a bit of hair to get through. And then one to two ratio will make 200 grams of developer, which is quite a bit. So I am gonna do 30 off the scalp. But when I get on the scalp, I will probably only use 10 volume because her scalp is gonna turn blonde so fast being a level six you don't need 20 so i'm gonna grab the dedicated 30 volume so the next thing i'm gonna do is something we all need this is the new new the new new the guy tang collagen powder okay this is gonna save y'all's life come on new product yes new come product. on new product <laughs> Are you excited about getting some collagen in your hair? I am. I'm gonna use the minimum boost, which is a quarter scoop, and then we're gonna whisk her on up. All right, ready or not, we're going in. So let's take a look, level six. The brown hair is level seven. So this is gonna lift really easily. I'm just gonna fold everything over like a book, turning the pages, and just continue to just lay the lightener on. So the goal is just to get Gabby's hair all platinum blonde. And I can't guarantee that because of the green direct dye that's in her hair. Um, sometimes when working with direct dyes, when it's really pigmented, it can be hard to get out. But sometimes a miracle happens and the hair just... <laughs> <laughs> it does happen sometimes, a miracle, and then she just becomes blonde. And I told him that I was prepared to cut a lot off, which I, I wanted to anyways because he's concerned with because it's been processed so many times on the bottom, bleaching it out again, so like, that's a risk I was willing to take. So, so if you end up having breakage, and it's not my fault, you're yeah. willing to cut your hair shorter anyways. Yeah, and I wanted to cut my hair. I told him right off the bat, like, I really want a shortcut, so like, we don't have to worry about the ends, and he was like, okay, good, I'll do your hair then. <laughs> but of course, we're gonna try not to get breakage. Yeah. We're gonna try not to overlap and cause breakage. Yeah. Guy has always cared a lot about integrity, though, and I know that for my hair and my friend's hair, who he's done, he's always cared about the integrity of our hair first and worried about breakage, which I, I appreciate, because I don't understand hair, and if somebody who's professional isn't telling me, like, I'll... I could do it, but you'll probably lose half your head. <laughs> then that would be a pretty upsetting discovery in the end. Yeah, because sometimes when you want like a huge change, and yeah. the starting point where you're starting from, it's hard to get you from point A to point Z yeah. when it's such a huge drastic change. But I'm gonna do the best I can, and if you're willing to work with me, compromise with me, have plan B, plan C, and knowing that if I can't, even though I try, yeah. if you're willing to work with a situation, I think that's the most important thing. And it goes back to communication, consultation, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're moving along pretty fast here, so I want you guys to take a look here. 
how quick we're moving along. Yeah, don't worry about foils guys. The problem is when we stop to put foils on, what happens is we take too long in one spot and then one spot will turn blonde too quick and it sits on way too long. So as long as you can get the lightener on the head and keep it moving just like this, you're able to move along uh, with the retouch a lot faster. Worry about the foils after the fact, but right now the main concern is getting it on quick so you get to navigate around without causing damage to your head. So it's only been about five minutes since I finished the full application all over and look how blonde she already got. She has reached a level eight and that's pretty awesome. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going in, as you can see, I'm picking out the strands that have low lights that go all the way down and using my fingers to just drag the lightener all the way down. I'm not worrying about foils first because foils will incubate and make the lightener process way too fast. I don't want her hair to lighten way too fast. I want it to lighten slow so that way I have full control of where I want the lightener, Big Nine, to lay. So the cool thing about Big Nine is because it's white, you can see where the hair has been lifted to. Had it been a blue base lightener, it's hard to tell how far you lift the hair. And what happens is you'll rinse the, the lightener off and the hair is still yellow. So that's a very you know important benefit from Big Nine, I find, is that I get to really visually see how far I lift the hair. You're gonna use your fingers and pick out any parts you see the browns. And so I'm just gonna go in, literally just section the hair out before I start laying foils down. So this is gonna be the hard part, but her hair is pretty strong, so she's able to handle quite a bit. So you can see there's quite a bit of brown coming through here, so I'm just gonna feather it. So take a look at this random gold brown streak here. See that, do you see that? We're just gonna pull the lightener through this one piece. Can you guys see this? Look at this compared to that. See, there's a bunch of them all over the head. So we're gonna pick that out and then paint right over it so we could get that blonde. And it's gonna be pretty, pretty easy because her hair isn't too long. So I could really just go throughout her whole head and do this. You guys, her hair has been responding very, very well. So you can see her hair has lifted to a level nine. This is perfect and it's still very, very strong. And you can see the ends here where I pulled the lightener down to the brown. You can see it's a nice even lift. Let's take a look at where some of the lightener touched the, the green parts. Look, it's lightening up. So this is a good sign. So you can see that her routage is still intact. So we're gonna go in and hit her routage now with 10 volume. So there are some parts that it kind of bled up, which is fine. It moved on its own, I didn't force it to. That naturally happens. But now I'm gonna hit it with 10 volume. I also use Big Nine and I use the Guy Tang Collagen Powder powder in the Big Nine with 10 volume as well. Okay, I'm just gonna open her up just to make sure. Even though the product moved up on its own, you still see it's slightly warmer, so I get to hit that spot with the 10 volume. Now, the reason why we shift developer is because the scalp naturally has heat and the hair there is really fresh and it naturally wants to turn platinum white very, very fast. That's why you don't need as much power with 30 volume. 10 volume is enough here and the natural heat will take it there on its own. Even if her head wasn't super, super hot, it's still warmer than the cold shot on the outside. So her hair is gonna naturally want to turn white there anyways. So it's good to shift down the developer. Sometimes I do 20 volume, but I find that on the level six, 10 volume is all I need. guys, so I already got done doing the retouch application. So now I'm gonna go in and hit her ends with the 10 volume. So if there's anything that doesn't get lifted, I could do a wet bleaching technique after I rinse all the lightener out. But for now, I'm just gonna run 10 volume, big nine through her ends, just like this, and just swipe it down. And then lay a foil down. The foil will help accelerate the lift. So make sure you incubate as you go. But you can clearly see that this is a level nine. But so far, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident because at the end, if I have to rinse this off and I have to tackle anything on damp hair, I can. You guys, come on in, take a look. Take a look at Gabby's hair. So I'm at the shampoo bowl now after pulling out all of the foils. You can see her hair is actually pretty light. It looks like a level 10 for the most part. We could tone her hair damp right now and call it the end of the day. But one of the things I do love about dry glazing or dry toning the hair is that I feel like the tone lasts longer and I get control where I place the tone. So that way it looks a little bit more finished and polished. I like the, the result to look more finished. 
because the reality is her hair has different porosity. And the only way to make sure the toner takes evenly due to the porosity of her hair, I'm able to put full concentration on her rootage and then dilute it down as I get to the ends and really focus the concentration of the dye load in those areas that haven't been fully lifted. So you can definitely see like her hair up here. It's light but it's a lot more healthier. I would rather put full concentration of the tone near her routage. And then down here in the ends, you can see her hair is a lot more porous. So I should add more clear to the tone. So I get to drag the root formula out further in some areas. And at the end, it's all gonna look like an even result due to the concentration of the pigment in the tone. So let's rinse out the lightener now so we can really see what her color looks like. So this gives me the perfect foundation, the perfect canvas to tone her hair with. All right, so I'm gonna shampoo her out, I'm gonna dry her and bring her back, and you're gonna see that she's super blind, because when it's wet, I mean, it looks really white already, but when it dries, her hair will look super, super icy white. All right, guys, we are back with Gabby's hair. She is super, super light. She has reached that level 10. How do you feel, Gabby? Excited. That wasn't too bad, that wasn't too hard. The green is gone. Completely gone. Completely gone. Totally. So now we are gonna tone her hair or glaze her hair. We're gonna put a finish to it. And I'm gonna customize a shade that I think is gonna look great with your skin tone. So um, this is one of my favorite recipes. It's actually 10A with 9IG. So I'm gonna reach over here and grab my friend, 10A, and we are gonna grab 9IG. I'm gonna squeeze a full tube of 10A. So here's 9IG. You don't need too much of this. I'm just gonna do 10 grams of 9IG. And I'm gonna mix it one to two ratio with six volume. And this formula is gonna go directly on her routage. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more crystal clear to the same formula and drag it down her ends. In this formula, I'm gonna make sure to add Olaplex. This is really important. I'm gonna squeeze in Olaplex a little bit, goes a long ways. And then I'll also reach for the Guy Tang Collagen Powder. We're gonna do a full scoop, honestly. And the reason why I'm doing a full scoop of Guy Tang Collagen Powder is because to me that evens out the porosity, right? We're gonna put my hand cottons on and we're gonna get started. So another key benefit when using the Guy Tang My Daddy Demi Permanent Color is it's acidic. Anytime you lighten the hair with lightener, you're causing a little bit of destruction, a little bit of damage, if you will. So by using Demi Permanent Color, you're able to close that cuticle and add that shine back into the hair and make it look and feel healthier. And that's very, very important. guys so you see the remaining color that's in the bowl that's the 10a and 9ig i'm gonna put some crystal clear in this okay i'm gonna squeeze a full tube in here six volume one to two ratio so you're gonna add 110 grams of six volume and then because you add new amount of color in you have to add more olaplex into it as well so you make sure you squeeze your olaplex in, just like so. And you make sure you grab the collagen powder as well. A full scoop because she needs a maximum boost. Boom, there you go. Voila, now we're gonna mix this up and we're gonna put this throughout her whole entire head. Now, when it's processing, it's always gonna look very, very scary. You can see that, but just wipe it and you can see it's not as dark as it looks. And you can see here that I'm swiping with my two fingers to make sure it penetrates all the way through. You'll see me just kind of drag that root formula down. That's what I always like to do, is just kind of merge and blend the root formula down. We are back, we are done. I'm so happy. Gabby, your hair looks so good. I'm so happy. I love this so much. I can't stop touching it. The color is so, so good. This is what I've been wanting for so long and I haven't had the balls to do it. So here we are. Well, now you grew some balls. I know, thanks to you, I have yours. <laughs> this is so exciting because your new music is coming. Yes, I'm so excited. Maybe. This is for my new music video and everybody's gonna see it debuted. There. I'm so, so really excited. Cool. Me and too. First of all, guys, if you have not listened to Gabby's music, check it out on Spotify, 
iTunes, Thank Apple you. Music. I love her music. I'm a huge fan of hers. I love Gabby. She's always been so super sweet of me. But also check out Guy's music. I am very passionate about it and I'm shy. And it's really cool to have a friend like Gabby who is so supportive of me and everything I do. And it's hard to find good friends, especially in the YouTube community. So Gabby, thank you so much of for course, being who dude. you are. Of course. She's such a huge supporter. He's the best too. I already put him on blast on my channel. So. <laughs> but, but also, I mean, you, you share a lot of yourself with me. You you introduced me to your producers. And of course. She's such a good person, guys. Give thank her some you. love thank and you. check out her music and um, check out mine as well. Check out his as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, subscribe, thumbs up, and love you guys much. Bye. Follow us on both Instagram and Facebook. Doo -doo.